Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is still on alphabetic list problems on letter R. I have a couple of videos on the uh, respiratory diseases and also particularly the respiratory failure and also the uh, infections. And today I'm going to talk about uh, renal diseases. Actually, it's pretty much I have covered this renal diseases in the video of the kidney diseases. But um, uh, today I'm just going to uh, talk about the renal diseases, but uh, focus on the common uh, renal conditions, such as the urine tract infection, for example, um, and, and also the stones. But let me just uh, first start with the um, emergency situation, any uh, emergency situation that uh, warrant um, associated with this kidney disease that you need to see the emergency. As I mentioned previously, if the for those who had chronic kidney disease suddenly developed uh, worse, this, um, getting worse swelling and also associated with the arrhythmia. So that's indicating that the, um, the chronic kidney disease is getting worse with accumulated uh, potassium causing this arrhythmia. So if that's the case, definitely it's an emergency. Um, and other uh, uh, could be minor could be serious such as urine tract infection in the elderly uh, could be um, really uh, not a uh, serious problem in young people but urine tract infection in older people is kind of serious because it is easily to be ignored or to be missed that causes serious uh, kidney disease and even alter the mental status status so if that's the case uh, really need to see the emergency and uh, of what are the signs how do you know this elder people has the urine tract infection unknown cause of a fever for example low grade uh, or you know this elderly haven't drink fluid for a long time uh, uh, dehydration is one of the risk factors so these are the signs and on top of that uh, the patient uh, out of the mental status and uh, um, low grade fever and dehydration so that is the risk factor uh, so that's the if that's the case bring to the emergency emergency room to uh, or the urine output is not as usual uh, it's less than 500 cc uh, or even less but it's really um, it's there's no way to measure but if you or the caregiver or yourself you know you uh, did not uh, um, urine now or did not drink enough I have this kind of stupor and lost uh, uh, track of time or days if that's the case really uh, need to see the emergency and for the um, the other minor problem could be uh, could be serious very painful the stones if the kidney stone kidney stone itself probably is asymptomatic uh, unless it's dislodged and falling into the ureter and particularly in those narrow area stuck there that's quite be very very painful may or may not have nausea vomiting or may or may not have fever the pain is really a uh, cruciating pain and also sometimes perspiration and uh, particularly after the um, activities you vigorous activities exercise did not drink enough that might increase the risk so if that's the case even though um, it's it's uh, not uh, really pathologically not serious but still uh, because of the pain very painful and also if you go to the emergency room the treatment the management is quite straightforward uh, use a dilator like atropine for example and the fluid to wash it if no then just use the sonic to uh, break down the stone and to, to pass so this is about uh, uh, the uh, emergency situation i think i did not talk about why talk about the kidney diseases um the other emergency situation associated with this kidney disease i already mentioned um so this is about in general the kidney disease could uh, uh could be um uh, asymptomatic uh, particularly for those nephropathy or uh, just the proteinuria um because we you do not know as you do not have any particular young people know any other problems and know any other uh, family history and uh, uh, no symptoms just feel probably uh, gradually feel fatigue uh, 
tired until one day uh, the loss of protein caused the edema. So if that's the case, then you really need to see a physician. Pretty much for young people, the one of the most common cause of edema is the kidney disease. Um, uh, probably from the eyelid or the pitting on the lower extremity, uh, symmetrical usually, not like the uh, thrombosis of the lower extremity, uh, or DVT, deep venous thrombosis. That probably is asymmetric, which means one eye has a swelling, the other one doesn't. But if this swelling or edema caused by the kidney disease, usually is it, uh, symmetrical, uh, both both sides. So if that's the case, you need to see a physician. Like in terms of the treatment, may uh, just a supportive or may use some steroid or anti-inflammatory or autoimmune medications, but still need to be diagnosed and to see a physician. Um, the other important, uh, uh, actually uh, easily to be missed, urine tract infection. Uh, ye, uh, young people, female, probably high risk, and uh, asymptomatic bacteria, bacteria urea, it's also quite common. Um, usually uh, the guidelines change a long time. Nowadays it's really not a screening unless you have symptoms or fever or um, frequency urea or pain associated with the urine. So if that's the case, you need to see your physician. Other than that, um, um, unless you have symptoms, probably it's not uh, um, recommended any treatment, I think from, uh, from what I uh, read recently, the new guidelines are probably changed. But anyway, so that's another problem of a young female. If you have this uh, frequency uh, and also the pain, you need to see a physician. Uh, the diagnosis is quite simple, under microscopic or just the dip can s to see whether there's a um, leukocyte metabolism uh, and then to diagnose and to treat accordingly. So these are the, uh, the renal diseases. Uh, I did not mention when I talk about kidney diseases, diseases but still associated with this uh, urinary uh, tract, urinary system. Uh, associated with the kidney, if the urine tract infection, for example, young female, not treated and then will uh, ret retrograde, uh, going up um, uh, to get infection in the kidney. Um, so if that's the case, really it um, will be serious, the, com uh, the consequences. So, um, and uh, I think that's pro probably, uh, I did not mention another is the renal cancer. It's not, uh, there's no way to screen and no symptomatic, uh, asymptomatic at the early stage. The initial presentation for those usually uh, older than 50 or 60 and uh, painless uh, blood in the urine. So that's probably indicating something going on serious, probably advanced stage of ki uh, renal cancer. Um, and uh, there is some uh, chemotherapy might uh, slow the progress, but still the prognosis is not quite optimal. Uh, so the early diagnosis is still the key, holding the key in terms of the prognosis. So this is about uh, the renal disease, I think as a addendum to the previous video of kidney diseases. I mentioned some minor or easily to be missed the conditions and also um, talk about the renal cancer. If you're interested or if you have family history, then uh, you can uh, definitely search more information. So I'm going to stop here today and hope it helps and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.